Hello and welcome to the Year One Parent Forum meeting. I'm Miss Aswa, the class teacher for One Japan, and here are listed the other teachers in the Year One team. These are the Shenton values. They are respect, confidence, collaboration, communication, perseverance, and inquiry. Um, PE is delivered once a week in Class 1 Japan. PE is every week on a Tuesday morning. Please make sure that all your children's PE kit has their name written on the inside as well as their school uniform. Um, and children need to wear a white t-shirt, black jogging buttons or shorts or leggings, and black plimsolls or trainers. We'd advise that children remove any earrings And please make sure that children are able to change in and out of their PE kits on their own. Our school uniform colours are burgundy, grey and white. Um, so for boys, if they could wear black or grey trousers, a white shirt or a polo t-shirt and a maroon or grey jumper. Similarly, the girls to wear black or grey skirts, dresses or trousers. Um, and if a headscarf is worn, then that should be in the school colours as well. And all children should wear black shoes. Children can wear a watch, but it must be an analogue watch rather than a digital. Yep, so we're going to um, talk about the daily and weekly timetable, rules throughout the school, the CCC curriculum, um, end of year expectations for year one children, any assessments that will be taking place, homework and how we will be communicating with you. So your child will be taught a whole class timetable every day. They will receive lessons in reading and phonics, writing, maths and handwriting. Please make sure your child is in the class for 8.40 because lessons do start at 8.50 and we will be taking the register at that time as well. Um, school finishes at 3 o'clock, though you have up to 10 past 3 to collect your child. So in terms of behaviour, children are expected to follow the school rules and the class rules. Um, we do have a five stage behaviour system, so a stage one is given in the first instance, um, followed by a stage two, three, up to five. Um, and as you can see here are all the different um, things that a child will um, deal with. Um, in terms of rewards, we often give out Catch Me Being Good stickers for any good behaviour that we see. Those are given out by the class teacher, any other teachers that cover the schools and also LSAs and other teachers around the school. We give out special mentions on a Friday assembly where children will receive a special sticker and will be told in assembly the reason why they've been given that special mention. And each child also has a stamp card where they can collect stamps for all their academic work. In CCC, we cover science, geography, history, art, music, D&T and computing. This allows children to learn in a creative environment as well as outdoor learning. So hopefully we will be going on some trips this year as well. And your child will bring home a leaflet with all that information about the topic they are learning in school. Our topics this year um, begin with art, all about me, d and how can we make our toys move, in history we look at famous Victorians, great explorers and toys and games, um, geography we look at looking after our local area and we also do PSHE, RE and music lessons throughout the year. Healthy children, it's really important to make sure they are ready for learning. So please make sure your child has a full breakfast before coming to school. Um, they walk to school on their own, so not in a pushchair or being carried. 
um, is either school dinners or has a healthy full pack lunch box ready for them has a bottle of water every day and goes to bed between 7 and 8 p.m so they do get that full um, sleep that they need before coming into school so as a class teacher your child will be assessed in their reading at different points throughout the year they will also be given a reading book to take home with them and as well as being able to read the text we will also be asking children to answer questions about the text to help um, them to understand what they have read and this will help them move through the colour bands as they are in year one only the teacher can change your child's colour band and you may still read a range of books at home as well but the colour band books are what we use in school to assess our reading at home you can help your child with their reading by choosing a certain time in the day um, to listen to their read read a wide range of different books so fiction non-fiction anything that interests them really and also asking different questions about what they have read so for example why might different characters be doing certain things where is the story set who is in the story and uh, different what questions as well and any adult or older brother or sister can read with your child too in maths we expect children by the end of year one to count forwards and backwards to 100 no addition and subtraction facts within 20 tell the time correctly to one hour and half past the hour no days of the week months of the year and identify 2d and 3d shapes we teach calculation in addition subtraction multiplication and division throughout year one and here you can see different methods that we use um, during math lessons in year one and the methods that we expect children to be able to use independently as well. Here it is for subtraction. Multiplication. and division in writing by the end of year one we expect children to use capital letters and full stops accurately use adjectives and verbs be able to spell common exception words correctly be able to form their letters correctly so that's looking at their handwriting and be able to name the letters of the alphabet Here is an example of a child writing in year one from Leicester City Council. We will be assessing children in their phonics throughout Key Stage 1 and a phonics test for reading will take place in June. Children to regularly read through high frequency words. The phonics test will be looking at children's reading of real words and nonsense words using the sounds that they have been taught in year one to read these words. Here are some useful websites that you can look at. There's some um, different phonics activities. They can do some maths activities and also the Shenton website with some activities for year one and two children. We will be meeting with parents every term for a parent's evening. A newsletter will also be sent home twice a term. You will receive achievement certificates for your child, CCC leaflets, class assembly, um, texts to parents as well an end of year written report and do talk to your child about what they have learned and what they've been doing at school as well and if you have any concerns you can always uh, come and see me as the class teacher 
Mrs McVeigh will be running some online maths, reading and writing workshops next half term, so in November. And if your child needs any further support, you will be spoken to by myself at a parents' evening and also asked to attend a workshop to help your child. Please download the Shenton School app because this is where you will receive any updates about what's going on in the school, um, any news, any key information that we would like you to know. And here um, is the school website, which will also help you find any information to support your child. Um, things like maths activities that they can do every week, um, information about the curriculum and other things that can help. Thank you very much for listening. I hope this was helpful. As I've said, please do come and ask me if you have any further questions.